Hello, Jesse here. We're going to take a look at Basecamp and how to create a route using the route tool. It's very simple. First thing we're going to need to do is select the route tool from the top here. It's just the green dots with the uh, line connecting them. Now we need to plan our trip. First thing we need to do is click on the area we want to start from. So we're going to start in Canmore. And then next you want to click on your next destination. Well, I will click on the other side of the Bow River here and then your next destination and so on and then as you could see right now it's following the roads uh, this topo map has a routable road layer built into it which is great if you don't want it to follow the roads we could change that in the the settings uh, we'll take a look at those very shortly so right now we've got our via points these are the points that we'll be passing through along our route it, we also have a directions tab. In this directions tab, it's going to tell you each place we're going to need to make a turn and then the distance. We have our notes. We could add any type of notes we like. We could also even link to a file. And then we have our summary. Our summary is going to tell us all about the trip, such as your number of stops, your total time, total distance the type of transportation you've chosen which in this case is pedestrian walking so that's why it's going to take five hours to go 15 miles and our routing mode which is auto routing we could even change the color of our track just in case we have multiple tracks we could tell them apart a lot better and at the bottom in here we have our preferences this is where we're going to change all our routing settings in the preferences uh, you'll see we have auto routing and direct routing if I click on direct routing, you'll notice our route all of a sudden now has straight point or lines between the via points. If you click on auto routing, it will go back to following the roads again. In the auto routing, we have some options too. We could go fastest time, shortest distance, scenic route, highways. We can even avoid different things such as toll roads, U-turns, ferries, and so on. And we could change our, our, our traveling mode. So I'm going to just say we're going to transport via car. So now that's going to recalculate our route and tell us um, some different statistics. Uh, if we go up here to our summary, now it's only going to take us 23 minutes instead of 5 hours. So that's a huge difference. So let's close this preference window. In here you'll notice there's a, an auto name. Um, the name that it gives it isn't always the best name so if you unclick that you could change the name to something that's more descriptive to you to help you find it in your uh, routing list in your GPS so I'm just gonna call this Spray Lakes because it basically goes up to the Spray Lakes area once that's done in the left hand here it's gonna change your route and you'll see your route is identified by the green dots with lines in between In, in the left hand side here what we could also do is we could right click on a route and we could get the elevation profile which is great so let's just go all the way down to display elevation profile and what this does it's going to show um, along our trip our elevation gain or descent so as you can see here we start off at about 4300 feet and we go all the way up to about 5600 feet and we stay pretty level at around the 5600 feet once we're up in the Spray Lakes area and then it shows you along the bottom here the distance you could also have it show the via points or you could have it not show the via points so this top one here is kind of like a stretched out version of the route. If you use this slider here, you could see the whole route. And each one of those circles with the, uh, or dots with a circle around it, that's your via point. That was a quick look at how to use routes in Garmin Basecamp. To purchase Basecamp now, or just to learn more about Basecamp, Visit GPS City.